I am a fish finder. No, 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 I'm a fish finder. Now I am a fish finder. One, two, three, four, rock! Big nice. fish in a bar. I'm getting there, so I'm it. Get your cap and get your car. As you can see, there's bait fish all along. Big fish in a span. Net chat, net chat. Got your limit, what the heck? Sam! Two keepers! Up there the life of me. Summertime in New Orleans means speckled trout. Big Big fish in a bar. Don't you love fishing with friends? Kiss the lid. <laughs> Big Fish TV is up and running thanks to great sponsors like Ray Brandt Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, Puglia, Sporting Goods, Cajun Outboards, Neil Record Insurance, the Clayton Fruge Law Firm, Penn Fishing, Berkeley, Abu Garcia, and Spiderwire, Ultimate Braid Fishing Line. It's truck money at Ray Brandt Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram on the West Bank, and we'll trade for anything. Cars, trucks, SUVs, ATVs, boats, Campers, you name it, we'll trade it. Only at Ray Brand Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank or online at RayBrandDodge.com. Welcome to the Big Fish. I'm Captain Sam Barbera along with Joe Macaluso, and we have a fantastic show for you this week. We're heading down to Shell Beach with three captains that know the area well to learn some wintertime tricks. Well, Captain C.T. Williams is going to take us to the Hopedale area to fish with United Charter skipper Rory Rorison. And then you're going to get a real treat because Frank Moore, fishing with the king, guide service out of Shell Beach. Frank Moore maybe catches as many speckled trout as anybody on the coast right now and has been for years. But during the wintertime, he targets sheep's head like no other fisherman around. And he'll give you the lowdown on how to take these fish in the winter and fill that box. Great lineup on the show today. We're going to Chef Tinny's Kitchen. He's got a unique recipe for speckled trout, but first, let's get this week's outdoor news with Mr. Joe Macaluso. For you young hunters out there, Cassachie National Forest is opening up five new areas for a turkey lottery season. Um, you're going to have to be 17 or younger. You know, all the state regulations are going to apply, but you need to get those lottery applications in now. And you go to www.wlf.louisiana, that's spelled out, .gov. That's the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries website. Make sure you get it in. Another big thing for you guys in South Louisiana, want to test your waters out in, in the White Lake um, uh, Wildlife Conservation Area, there are 100 fishing permits out there available. Again, go to that Department of Wildlife and Fisheries website, make your application. That's a unique experience down there. There's a lot of good freshwater fishing, plus you can kind of drift into the south area and get in some good saltwater fishing. Just remember now, we're going to come out with uh, next week, we're going to have all the updated information from the Wildlife and Fisheries Commission meeting because here's what's going to happen. It's not just talking about red snappers, not just talking about the Atchafalaya, but there promises to be some new deer hunting areas coming out of there, and they're keeping it a kind of a closely guarded secret, but they've been meeting now for two months, and uh, Wildlife Division Chief Kenny Ryback said that they're contemplating having some new deer hunting areas for not only for this season, but for the future, and it's to take care of some of those storm-ravaged areas uh, from not only from the past Hurricane Isaac, but all the way from Hurricane Katrina, because they're not seeing as many does as they used to see, and they think the population's going down, so they might have to do some adjusting on deer areas, deer hunting dates, and even get in some extended bucks-only seasons. That's the big news, Sam. Thanks, Mr. Joe. Last week, fishing reports kind of dipped, but this week, we're already getting good reports from Delacroix, Lake Pontchartrain, and the Grand Isle area. We'll validate all those reports for you this week on thebigfishfinder.net. But right now, let's head to Shell Beach. When you talk about great fishing in Lower St. Bernard Parish, you will immediately hear references of Delacroix and the Biloxi Marsh. Great locations, no doubt, but right in between those two hot spots is an area that is often overlooked and underfished. From Hopedale Lagoon to Lake Amity and down to Lake Robin, you will find thick oyster bottoms and shell reefs, and the bayous and canals between these bays have deep holes and solid drop-offs. The combination of these elements creates a prime winter habitat for speckled trout, sheep's head, black drum, and redfish. But for some reason, the area doesn't seem to get the fishing pressure of its neighbors. And Captain Rory Rorison, well, he likes it that way. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking drumish. 
There you go. Perfect drum. Perfect size drum. Oh, yeah. We're in the spot now. All right. Yeah. 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 It's going to make 12. Uh, Half a speckle truck. Three quarters of a speckle truck. I'm getting better. That's good. Hey. That's nice. If you want to They're getting the bigger, race. people. Are you looking at Captain Roy? Spotted yeah, sea trout. Beautiful. Right. Shaking it. There you go. That's a good fish. Yeah. 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 Y
qualified, you can call it the Rondo Seabrim because you can't call it a snapper in the restaurant. So you're right. That's another. Here's, here's one more for you. Put that thing right at the camera there. If you get those teeth just right, you got a few people in Lake Pontchartrain call them Jimmy Carter fish because that looks just like old Jimmy Carter's chops right there. <laughs> Gavin, you got a little net over there? We'll put a little. Oh, yes. All right. Second best to the state record speckled trout. A perfect eating redfish. Well, did she just put water all over those people's television sets like that? Shame on you. Just for that, you're going to keep him in the box. Lake Robin and the surrounding area are usually overlooked. People usually get in their boat and head straight down to Delacroix or over to the Biloxi Marsh, passing up tons of good wooden time spots. Well, it's an amazingly easy area to get to. Uh, you can get there from Campos, Marina, and Shell Beach. And when we talk about winter fishing, you know, we've had a lot of cold fronts this year, but in between, we've had some unusually warm periods. But we can expect some more winter to come. I mean, you know, we're still in February right now. When those cold fronts come through, what happens is those sheep's head that spread out in the warm, they'll come back and bunch up real tight when it gets cold weathery. You know, one man who really understands the value of a largely misunderstood species is Frank Moore. He catches as many trout as anyone else, but he has really gotten the wintertime sheep's head fishing down to a science. Oh, oh my goodness, it's cold. i tell you what, man, this thing is pulling. Drag me out the boat. When cold weather shuts down a good trout bite, you don't have to stay home. Sheep's head, no matter how cold it gets, will always be waiting for you in the marsh. Go! <laughs> Incoming! Incoming! Come on, big man! Ah! <laughs> Captain Frank Moore, Robbie Campo, and I set out to prove that even in tough conditions, these great fighting and delicious fish are looking to take your bait as well as fill the fish box and your stomach. Ooh, man, Ooh, that's a nice big fat one there, buddy. All right, so the condition you're looking for, ledges, drop-offs, deep channels, especially if they're adjacent flats, and rocks, shells, oysters, anything like that, some kind of structure that allows those fish to hold up. The best part is you don't have to go early. Let the sun come up and bring a little heat to the day. All right. What, you, you say you don't like sheep head? Well, remember this. It's the number two most sold fish in New Orleans to restaurants. You'll find it on menus at places like Commander's Palace and G.W. Finn's Restaurant in the French Quarter. In fact, Chef Tenny Flynn of G.W. Finn says probably one of the most underrated fish there is. Another one for the party. I'll tell you what, this one's pulling pretty good too. One thing about these fish, they fight, you know. Not like catching a little 12, 13 inch trout, which I love to catch, but these things, they fight hard. There's no limit on them, and they're great to eat. Even if you don't like this underrated fish, you know the non-stop fish fighting fun is getting your blood pumping. Don't lie. Good morning, honey. Not today. You are not going fishing today! Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod. Introducing the new Work Sharp Knife and Tool Sharpener. The revolutionary power sharpener built specifically for you, the outdoorsman. Sharpening every knife you own has never been so easy. When you prepare your knives with Work Sharp, you know you're ready for action. Precision, easy to use guides deliver the perfect angle for razor sharp knives. Fast, effective, repeatable every single time. Flexible, quick changing abrasive belts were strategically engineered to sharpen cool. In seconds, you'll grind, sharpen, and hone all with one tool. Spend more time in the field where you belong. Get the most out of all your hunting and fishing gear by adding the Work Sharp Knife and Tool Sharpener to your arsenal. It's truck money at Ray Brand Dodge Price and the Jeep Ram on the West Bank, and we'll trade for anything. Cars, trucks, SUVs, ATVs, boats, 
campers, you name it, we'll trade it. Only at Ray Brand Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank or online at RayBrandDodge.com. The Trilene 100% professional grade fluorocarbon from Berkeley is remarkably clear. It has little to no memory and is extremely abrasion resistant. But most importantly, it's the most impact resistant fluorocarbon you can buy, which means you'll hear a lot more Woo! Woo! Woo and a lot less. Oh, what? Oh. Trilene fluorocarbon from Berkeley. <laughs> Woo! For anglers who want to catch more fish. Oh, that might have been a trout. It wasn't flat like this, you know. Ah. Get the net. Get the ball. Got your back there. Yeah, baby. Ooh. Pick him up. I got him. Right. Ching. All right. Double up. Oh. Had to rather be lucky than good fish there. Nice. Ah. I tell you what, man, this thing is pulling. Oh, big boy. Well, come on. Come on. I'm ready. Ooh, man. <laughs> this guy's a little tank. Be careful. This guy's a little tank. Be careful. Dang. Ooh, got that one. Ah. Come on, Frank. King. Hi. Baby. Coming through, coming through. Man with the net. Weighing me out. Bring him up. I ain't got time to fish. Netting all of Frankie's fish. Come on. We're gonna swap up. No, we're good. You're just putting me to work, come on. <laughs> you do the work, I'll take care of the rest. Huh? Take your time, Frank. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Oh, good fish. Look, see his spikes? Like my hair. Alright. You want to net him or what? <laughs> this went on for most of the day. Literally, the bite was limitless. Robbie and I had a great day fishing with the king, Frank Moore. Well, Sam. You know, a lot of people look down on sheep's as a food fish, but if you check with fish wholesalers, they sell more sheep's head to restaurants and other commercial activities than any other species except black drum. And I think the chefs of Louisiana, have, and just like us, I mean, because I enjoy sheep's head too, you know, have come to realize it's a valuable food fish. It's a great fish. Chef Tinney down in the French Quarter at GW Fins often cooks sheep's head and has it on the menu, but today we're gonna have trout and trout in a way that you've probably never seen before. This is Parmesan encrusted speckled trout. Summertime in New Orleans means speckled trout and usually a lot of speckled trout. This is a very simple dish as a lot of the best ones are. We've got speckled trout. I'm gonna season it very lightly with a little salt and pepper. Um, I'm also gonna spray it with this vegetable spray which is like Pam, uh, it'd be canola oil, olive oil, whatever. I'm gonna put a pretty good coating of spray on it. And then I'm going to dredge it right into Parmesan cheese, just grated Parmesan cheese. Press it down and get a good coating. And see how it's evenly coated. I've got a mixture of clarified butter and canola oil here. Straight canola oil would work just as well. I'm going to put a fair amount in my pan that's already hot and I'm going to put the fish cheese side down. And it's very important that we don't try to turn this for three or four minutes until it's almost done.
Power Bait from Berkeley looks, moves, and smells more like the real thing. And since it tastes more like the real thing, fish bite and hold on longer, up to 18 times longer than other artificials, giving you Woo! more time to set the hook, which means you'll be hearing a lot more often. Power Bait from Berkeley. What you need to catch more fish. The Trilene 100% professional grade fluorocarbon from Berkeley is remarkably clear. It has little to no memory and is extremely abrasion resistant. But most importantly, it's the most impact resistant fluorocarbon you can buy, which means you'll hear a lot more Woo! Woo! Woo and a lot less. Oh, what? Oh. Trilene fluorocarbon from Berkeley. <laughs> Woo! For anglers who want to catch more fish. We're a nation of hardworking Americans, and businesses will always be the lifeline of this great country. As a business owner, you understand the importance of your reputation. In times of uncertainty, you need a real lawyer who's serious about protecting you and your business. You need a problem solver. You need the law firm of Clayton & Fouget. Tony Clayton is a proven trial lawyer. He'll defend you and your business to the fullest extent of the law. Protect your investment and call the law firm of Clayton & Fouget today. The way I like it. Nothing's better than boiled seafood. Spiced just right. Oh, uh, yeah. And Louisiana fish fry products makes it easy to boil right every time. Can't get enough. Grab a bag. There's nothing to mix. Just pour and boil. Aw, oh, now you're cooking. Crawfish, crab, or shrimp. With Louisiana fish fry products, you got boiling down easy. Oh, that's the way I like it. Tenny's Fish Tacos are outstanding and easy to make. The chef's finishing up the dish in his GW Finn's kitchen right now. All right, we're going to see if we did this right. Now, the, the pancake analogy we use sometimes with the fish that the first side of the pancake takes longer than the second side is certainly true with this. And I'm going to lean the kill it so I don't splash myself. My spatula is too big for my pan almost. Okay, so you can see the golden brown cheese crust. Now this is only going to take about two minutes to finish cooking on this side. All right, we're done. I'm gonna plate this and then we're gonna make a little fresh brown butter very quickly. And we're gonna brown a little piece of butter, about a tablespoon. And instead of squeezing lemon juice, we've got some, uh, some little fillets of lemon, which is a little bit fancier. Um, and I'm gonna cook those for a second in the butter, but those are just the little, like when you section a grapefruit, and we're doing it with a lemon. And I've got some chopped parsley, and I've got some capers that are already fried. All right, that's ready to go. I don't know if you can see the color. Parsley, lemon, capers. Swirl it around one time, and then right over the top of the fish. And that's Parmesan-crusted speckled trout with lemon fillets and brown butter from GW Finn's. GW Finn's restaurants serve seafood so fresh, they print a new menu every day. Give Chef Tenny a call and get the best seat in the house. Sam, you know, we were telling our audience uh, what a lot of people from Louisiana know and what we want to have a lot of people from around the country know. Can you get any better than great fishing, great fishing tips, and excellent food? That leads us to another little problem I had. You know, we had the entire nation focused on Louisiana last week for Super Bowl 47. People flocked into New Orleans from all over the world. And what did we see? We saw, yes, great food in Louisiana, great fun, good watering holes. Even one of the, the ESPN analysts said, you know, I'm getting up to do my morning walk and there are people just coming back from the, the hotels and from the bars and from having all this fun. And I was wondering what they were doing out all night. But the one thing I didn't see was Louisiana exposing the world again to the great fishing and the great outdoor recreation we have. I mean, if you look down, and you look in the records, the biggest ever catch in Bassmaster Classic came from Louisiana, not Florida, 
not Texas, Louisiana. When you look at the top five destinations in the world to go fishing, Venice is right there with everybody. If you look where Captain C.T. Williams fished this week, Shell Beach, Hopedale, there's probably not another inland area in the country any better than that. And I'm including Florida and all those things you read about Texas. It's time for our state to start turning a little bit more money into luring people to come here because of our outdoor recreation. We're not just talking about fishing, but we have the best duck hunting here in the country too when we get into December and January. You know, Mississippi promotes its fishing and it spends more money on fishing than Louisiana does in its budget. If not for the BP money, we wouldn't have been able to get the word out to the country about Louisiana and the fishing we do here. But what we wonder is, what's gonna happen when the BP money runs out? Is the state gonna continue funding what we know to be the best fishing in the lower 48 states in our country? It's something to think about. We need to start putting a little bit more effort into telling the world that we have the best fishing in our country. And we missed a great chance last week. Let's hope that Super Bowl comes back here in another six or seven years. We're trying to get it for our tricentennial, the city of New Orleans. But by then, we will have accumulated millions of dollars and let millions of dollars slip away because we haven't promoted our fishery. Very valid point and a great way to wrap the show up. Well, we need to add one little thing. Uh, very sad note. Uh, condolences go out to the family of Mike Wasson. Uh, Mike was a giant in the oyster industry in our state, campaigned for the oyster industry, and he was a member of the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries Commission. Um, just want to pass along our heartfelt condolences to his family. Hey, we'll see you next week. Until then, keep up with us and the fish on bigfishfinder.net. This is a website filled with great fishing information for everyone and if you become a member, you can find GPS numbers as well as marked maps and detailed information to fishing spots that are active right now. The site is new and continues to grow, but already has a great deal of good information. Before your next fishing trip, give it a try. Sound of